Hey guys, welcome back to a new vlog. Juan and I are in the car and we're looking up an address. So, something fun that we decided to do for like a couple hours today is we were gonna go take a look at a couple of houses just to see like what's on the market. There's absolutely nothing wrong with our house. Like we love our house, but there's nothing wrong with just keeping an eye on the market. Wouldn't you say? Yeah, it's pretty, pretty crazy market right now. It is, it is a crazy market. And I think like the only things that we, or I, I should say the only reason for why we would move is if there was something exactly like ours with like no obstructing view but had a backyard. Like the backyard is like the only missing factor for our house. Yes. Wouldn't you say? And then maybe a fourth bedroom to like grow into. Yeah. You know what I mean? But, but the backyard is mainly. It's a big thing for us because we've been talking about for like years getting a dog, but we really want a backyard first to like have a dog. And, and like for gatherings and like when we have people over oh, yeah, yeah. and like, I don't know, it's just like an extra piece of land to have. Like when it's really nice outside, you want to just go in your backyard and just like chill and have like little get togethers and parties and stuff like that. So anyways, we're going to take a little look at a couple houses today. It is a lot of dreaming because most of these houses are definitely outside of our budget. <laughs> yeah. The prices went up crazy. The prices really went up. We're trying to go to like this one community where I thought it was a community to go look, but the houses are like not even done and there wasn't a way to like see them. But we passed by like these one houses that I'll show you in a second and they are like gorgeous. It doesn't look like any of them are available, but there are a couple more that we were gonna go take a look at. So hopefully we can get into a couple houses today to see. Yep. Yeah. Okay, let me show you. These are the houses that we saw that we thought were freaking gorgeous. They are massive. They look like they have a little bit of a backyard, which is nice, but what you can't see that is amazing is that these houses right here have a lake view. Like, are you kidding me? That would be the most gorgeous view to have. I feel like that's absolutely a dream, but yeah, these houses are so pretty. I mean, those people look like just, appliances. And yeah, stuff exactly. Like I feel like people are just like, just moving into these houses or something because they see a ton of boxes on like this house too. But look at this community, like, <laughs> these are gorgeous. See, right here, they have a view of the lake. Crazy. It would be amazing to be down there, like on the water, but I mean, those houses are probably like $10 million, like insane. We just saw another community that's a little bit lower. These are on the water. <sighs> 4 million, 4.5. Oh yeah. 2.9, but they, they kind of change. Here, let me see if I can just move the camera so you can see while I'm driving by them a little bit. There's one here that was sold in November 2021. How much? 2.9, 4.169. Wow, look at this one. All the windows. Oh, that's a community beach club. <laughs> it's not even a house. Homeowners and guests only. I mean, I Damn. think it's amazing that they have this. Yeah. <laughs> It's a full on um, community that's so wait, pretty. This is 4217. 4217. And that? 422. So it's it's back. Do you want to see it? 4169. Do you want me to turn around? Yeah. I'm not a fan of like the color of these, but the fact that these houses right here in front of us have a view of the lake, like I can look past the color. They're not awful. Look at this, it has like a little oh, view. Yeah. I mean, the expensive oh my God. here needs to be very expensive. Right? Okay, which one was it? Uh, 4169. Now turn left onto... Nice. How big is it? Uh, 2700. Square feet? Three beds, two bath. So it wouldn't be like an it's improvement. Like yeah, it's... It's like ours, exactly. So it's like, well, why spend more money? It has a huge balcony. Mm. I mean, all of that doesn't count in the 2700. No. Wow, this community is large. We can keep an eye on this community <laughs> if we liked it. I mean, maybe like still 3.4. Yeah, okay, never mind. It's a little outside of our budget. The but HOA I mean, some is 309. Of these, but some of these don't even have views. You know what I mean? They're just like back here. So these must be. Well, hopefully are cheaper than the ones on I mean, the water. Let me see. 3,700 square feet. 
these ones. Those ones are way larger. Well, they're stunning. I mean, if you have that beach club and you can actually use it, that's pretty cool. It is pretty cool. The first house that we're seeing is one of these three little cuties. Let's go inside. They are having an open house. It has a little connector to this room. Babe, I love the floors. They're like gorgeous. This is cute, like a little office. It's kind of like what you have right now. What are you saying? <laughs> you like this? No. Not my style. But... <laughs> Let's look at the kitchen, babe. Love those. Those are really unique. Has a little patio off of the kitchen. That's kind of nice. I mean, there's no privacy, but it's really nice space, especially yeah, for like entertaining. Yeah. And you could probably put some like privacy things up out there too. Look at this range. Wow. It's a wolf. It's nice. Look how massive the fridge is. Cute. Yeah. Here's the closet. Oh wow, there's lots of like shelves, but not a lot of like hanging space. Hmm. Let's look at. Oh babe, they have under cabinet lighting in here. Wow. I like this. Freestanding tub. Oh, this is awesome. Another bedroom. Huh, the only room up here that has hardwood floors. <laughs> Each of the rooms has AC though up here. So, one bedroom. Laundry room. I wonder why they changed the floor in this one only and not like all of it. Here's the view. It is like on a street. I mean, the lake is what? Yeah, the two, lake. Two blocks. The lake is right there. It's a really great location. Probably from the rooftop you can see. Yeah, let's go to the rooftop. Babe, can you imagine having a barbecue up here? Yeah. And just like entertaining? Wow. Oh yeah, you can see the lake from up here. That's gorgeous. You obviously hear the sound of cars though on this road. <laughs> but this is really nice space to have considering that this one doesn't have a backyard. This is nice. And here's like the little entryway. Oh. What'd you ask? What's the price? The price is almost 2.7. For that house it's location 100%. it's 100 location the road bothers me that it's right here the location is like perfection though i love this this area so much i like the rooftop i feel like that's an added bonus but i just don't feel like there's like a lot of privacy i don't like that there's no backyard still i wasn't sure because it didn't say anything or show the pictures um online so i wasn't sure if there was just like a they weren't mentioning it, but it had one, I guess. And the layout was kind of weird. And the rooms were kind of small. Yeah, everything seemed like a little cramped. Yeah. And if you compare it with our house, like everything was in small scale. Yes. Like the kitchen was small, the living room was small, the and cut bedrooms off. are small. Like the main floor was cut off because the stairs were in the center. Yes. And the square footage wasn't that small. Or it's 3,000 square feet, 3,003. So what's our house? What is it? It says it's 3,003. Wow. Ours is 2,700. See, they did a terrible job with the layout then. They didn't utilize the space. I yeah. feel like in a, in a good way. That's weird. Yeah. 
But I don't know, the bedroom is kind of the same size as the bathroom, which in my opinion is just ridiculous. The bedroom <laughs> like, was kind of small. The main bedroom is The main bedroom, about. and then the bathroom was massive. It wasn't that big. It was pretty big, like the shower was really, really big. It was nice. But did you see that their bed in the master, or sorry, the primary bedroom, was a queen size bed? What? You don't know the family that lived here. That's fine. I'm not judging them for using a queen size bed. What I'm saying is that the room looks small even with the queen size bed in it. So imagine bringing like our king size bed mm -hmm. with like the bulky bed frame and our bulky like <laughs> furniture, like our nightstands and stuff. Like it would be super crammed. There's just no room for it in there. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. I don't know. Kind of fun to see. Yeah. Let's go eat. Are you hungry? I'm super hungry. Okay. Let's have lunch. Yeah. Where do you want to go? I mean, do you want to go to downtown Kirkland and we'll figure it out? Yeah, we could do that. Okay, let's go. Made it back home. We made a stop at Whole Foods and picked up a bunch of stuff to make dinner tonight, but also lunch for tomorrow. So we got a red onion, I got some potatoes, got a few different kombuchas because they were actually on sale, which is great. So I got this one to have for myself, but these ones, Juan has it like a half of a glass, like every morning for breakfast. Got our favorite buns ever. If you guys are making any sort of burgers anytime soon, go to Whole Foods and get this brand. These are so tasty. They like melt in your mouth. They're amazing. Got some like, carrots. Got some like little baby peewee potatoes. I love these. An avocado. Some fresh bread. This is amazing. I love this brand from Seattle, the Grand Central. Rustic breads. What's in here? I think a lemon. Yep. And then we got some beef chunk stew meats, some oatly, and some wine too. So if you couldn't kind of see, we're planning on doing another cheese fondue. So we wanted a couple of meats to dip in the cheese. So we're going to cook this ahead of time. We're going to cut this up. But then also any leftover, we can just throw it in the toaster and have like as toast. We're going to have the potatoes for the cheese fondue and the carrots as well. And then for another meal idea, we're going to have burgers. So we already have the meat for the burgers and then we have an avocado because we like to put the avocado like in it. It's so delicious. And then we're going to make a side dish of like these little stacked potatoes that are super good. And then obviously red onion for the burgers too. So that's everything that we picked up. Babe, there's no, babe, you have so many kombuchas. Found it. What'd you find? A vaccination card? Thank God. Okay, you need to I also ended up getting another ottoman, like another one of these that I have from Article because you guys watched, I think it was in my last vlog, I took the one the second of the two that were down here and moved it up to my office space. So I needed a third, obviously, to like replace what I took. Just ordered this and it came yesterday, but I haven't opened it yet. back down here all right there we go it's replaced i took the vase that was sitting right here and put it right here <laughs> i got some fresh olive branch leaves but i didn't have a vase right here i have one coming but it's not going to arrive till like i don't know another couple of weeks so i borrowed that one to put right here instead to hold it but i love that otherwise for this space it's pretty much complete. I might switch out these for something else and then I'm gonna get three like large picture frames to put up there to like print out some pictures so that we can finish off like this little area right here soon. <sighs> Otherwise, I am gonna go change into some pajamas. Get comfy, if you know what I mean. 
But before I do, this is the outfit that I wore today. I'm kind of out of breath for some reason. Jeez. But this is my outfit that I wore today. So I just have a Skims bodysuit on. This is the Cotton Collection one. Love it. It's like a staple of mine. I have some hoop earrings on. These are from, wow, my hair. <laughs> These are from Miranda Fry. And then I actually have the second pair on too. That's from Miranda Fry. I love it. And then I have the Ritzia trousers on that I shared in like my Ritzia haul video. You guys, these are like, they fit me like a glove. I feel like they were just like made for me. They are like a little tight around the waist, but I really wouldn't change a thing about them. The length is completely unaltered. Like this is how they came. I'm such like in shock. I freaking love them. And then I just have my Nike Dunks on as well. Love it. I feel like wearing trousers just really elevates like a daily outfit for me. I've been really, really like it. Instead of wearing jeans or like sweats, you know, it's just like a flowy, easy thing to wear, but you look more elevated and put together, you know? And then I can just still wear sneakers with this. Like, obsessed with this. This is something that I'd wear into the office when I go back to the office, you know? I also ended up getting them in like this, I think it's called flax beige color too. This didn't make the haul, but I got it in this color as well, which I really like. I ordered the black ones and a couple other colors in it. I kind of just like went ham on it, but a lot of them are actually still back ordered, but this is at least what's come so far. And yeah, these are a staple of mine. I really like them and I absolutely need them in every single color. <laughs> it's cocktail night. We're making some cocktails. I am so excited for this. Oh, I really wanted one when I was going through my kidney stones. What is that, the smoker? Mm -hmm. Nice, you're gonna try it for the first time? Cool. So I really wanted a cocktail, multiple cocktails when I was going through kidney stones, but I like refrained myself. I was like, you know what, that's not, that's not good for you. You know, like, oh, happy to report that I'm kidney stone free. We had, we, I had an ultrasound this last Thursday and the results came back that I no longer have kidney stones. So I'm really excited about that. It's a little update for you, but yeah, we're going to make some cocktails tonight. What are you making? Are you making an old fashioned? Oh. Okay, cool. I'm going to make a good old margarita. It's just like been my go-to. I'm really excited for this. So you guys know I love Fortaleza tequila, um, specifically my Reposado tequila. It's such a hard tequila to find. <laughs> like, it's nowhere locally, but I found it online. Anyways, I have been wanting to try their Blanco one. So this just came and I haven't even opened it yet. So we're actually gonna do a little taste test of this first before making our drink. I need some scissors. This thing has a, can you pass me the scissors? You're giving me the saddest eyes I've ever seen. I think let's pause. I need to feed Oliver. He's been begging for it. Yes, Oliver. Yes, I know. I hear you. I do. This is, for the record, five minutes early. Okay? Okay. Let's go. Yeah. Go. Move. Back to business. Why? Because I think uh, it will uh, be clearer how they... Ready? Let's taste it. By the way, I know I never showed the bottle. This is what the bottle looks like. It's a really nice bottle. That's nice. Especially for a Blanco. What do you think? Tastes like olives. Olives? Yeah. It has like a really subtle taste. It's not strong, but then I can kind of like feel it right now, like a little bit of a burn, but I did not feel like really any sort of like harshness in my mouth at all. These are kind of old, but I know I have others, but I want to try to use these. I think they're okay. So these are kind of like miniature limes, but in reality, I'm trying to get one ounce. So this side full of lime juice. Get your good old lime and lemon squeezer here. You can portion it out or you can kind of just go for it. I kind of just go for it usually. 
now that I'm used to making them, but I'm gonna do it for you so that we can get the portions. I think I'm just gonna do half of another just because I like it to be very limey. Next up is agave. I just got this from Whole Foods. So this is also an ounce that you wanna pour. If you want it sweeter, pour more, you know, do you. I think I'll just pour like a, whoop, a touch more. And then you want two ounces of your tequila, whatever kind you choose. Oh, nice. <laughs> And after that, you want to put ice in here and you're gonna shake it. Also, I like to strain it. It has a little cutout at the top, but just in case from the lime and just pour it on in. I'm not usually a huge fan of pulp and stuff, so that's why I typically strain it. You don't need to do this stuff. Okay, let's taste before we move on to making quans. That's pretty damn good. Yeah, I love this recipe. It's like so simple, not a lot of extras. It's literally two, well, three ingredients if you want to count the tequila. Really, really, really easy to make. Okay, let's make quans. He is making an old fashioned and He's trying out like a smoky, smoked old fashioned. How, what do you even call it? Is that what you call it? Yeah, smoked. Yeah, he bought like something to smoke it with. So this is his first time. But yeah, let's, let's see how it goes. Come on. Do you want to do it? Do you want me to do it? Yeah. Okay. You're going to teach me? I've never made an old fashioned before. Mm -hmm. He uses a slightly different glass than mine. <laughs> Both of these glasses, by the way, are from Crate and Barrel. This one is extremely heavy because it's all glass at the bottom of this, but this is, they're both old fashioned glasses, essentially. What's that first? So, Tell me, I'm excited. I mean, you can put one ounce of simple syrup. Okay, he made this himself. Half sugar, half water. There you go, half sugar, half water. It just keeps it in the fridge for easy access to making old fashions. One ounce. Mm -hmm. And now two dashes of each of the uh, bitters bitters orange bitters and aromic bitters yeah this is the normal like dashes as in like a drop there you go okay because it kind of missed the first time <laughs> that happens i wasn't sure how it was going to come out stir it on up now two ounces of bourbon what bourbon are you choosing today? That's a Maker's Mark 46. How are you liking it? I know you just got it. You've had like one drink with it. Yeah, I really like it. Good? Yeah. Stir to stir, stir, stir. Stir to stir. And now are we testing out the smoker? Yeah, we can try this. Smoky time. It's called the smoke top. He got it off of Amazon. Let's put some of these. Oh, okay. I have never tried, so I don't know how Did you read the instructions? Yeah, the instructions say put there and turn it on. Is, is it working? It, is it working? Yeah. I mean, I'm burning the top. Yeah. Mm. Should I put the thing on? And it doesn't go the other way? Like no. this inside. There's literally nothing going through. Babe, I don't know if this is working. I don't think it is. The idea is, is that this should create smoke inside of the glass. I think you do need a torch. I forgot that that said that on the instructions. Because it's just like, it forces it. It's like versus like a lighter flame. Okay, well, we attempted that, but I think you need to buy a torch, so. We'll try that again another night. And I think last but certainly not least, an old fashioned calls for a fancy ice cube. And Juan has like these circular ice cubes. Oh wow. There. And there's your old fashioned. Thank you. <laughs> Cheers. 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 Mmm. Yummy. 
I'm kind of leaving things out because I think I might make a second. This tastes really good with the Blanco. Try it. It's really, really sweet. That's really sweet. This is sweet? Really sweet. Okay. Like, amazingly sweet. That is pretty sweet. Oof. Definitely takes an acquired taste for that type of alcohol. But that is actually like the best I've had. It's really sweet. Is that because of the 42, the makers, Mark? Well, everything is sweet. Mm. This is sugar. True. This is all of the sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Do you want to think about making dinner now? Oh. What do you want to make? Fondue. Babe, that was our plan all along. We had two options of doing burgers or doing fondue. Or not having it. No. Is that really an option? No. All I need. So we started watching the Ozarks last night, or is it just called Ozark? Ozark. <laughs> Last night, two episodes in, it's taken us forever, I feel like, to decide to watch it. Do you guys watch Ozarks? Ozark? I keep wanting to call it just the Ozarks. <laughs> I feel like it's starting off kind of slow. If you guys watch it, is it worth it to continue to watch it? And uh, does it like pick up too? At first it was a little bit weird seeing Jason Bateman be in this because I've only ever known him to do like comedy. So I thought that there was gonna be like some comedy in this. I didn't realize it was gonna be like so serious, but yeah, it kind of took me like the first half of the first episode to realize like how serious it is. <laughs> oh babe, this looks delicious. Slap it. <laughs> <laughs> the alcohol is getting to us. Oh. Yum. Please. If you go to the hospital, you're going alone because I need this fondue. You need the fondue? You're choosing the fondue over me? Every day. Ah. <laughs> oh. So we decided we're going to make our fondue for dinner. So, we're making this. <laughs> I'm trying not to cut myself. <laughs> we have the potatoes roasting in the oven right now. Claude is gearing up to do the steak, like cook the meats. I have some sides ready to go of some apples and carrots. I have like the base of the fondue, like ready to go. I'm about to get ready to grate the cheese. We're doing, we're doing shit right now, you know? <laughs> I'm about to make a, my second drink. After I'm done cutting everything, I need to cut. Babe, I think we need music. We need something. <laughs> Babe, can you figure it out? Because <laughs> I'm not taking you to the hospital. <laughs> I choose the fondue. <laughs> Nothing is better than fresh bread and cheese like I just don't think you can top bread and cheese would you say I feel like those are like my top two categories of food <laughs> bread and cheese yummy okay we just added in the garlic the wine and the lemon and it's now trying to get it to a gentle simmer. Next up, we're just gonna gradually stir in the cheese and then add a little bit of the mustard and nutmeg afterwards. And that's it. Is it too hot? Yeah, it's too hot. I can't believe we did it. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of work, a lot of prep. So delicious, ever since we did it for Valentine's Day, it's just what we've been craving. We've been wanting it so much. So we decided to have it again. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Covering mm. little baby potatoes and cheese is like game changer. It's so good. Hot. 
Big hot. How hot? From one to one thousand. <laughs> oh, it's quite a range. <laughs> mm, six to seven, eight. It's doable. Mm. Super doable. making lunch I'm making like these scallop like stacked potatoes that I'm gonna put in a muffin tin you guys have seen me do this before adding oregano good healthy amount there some thyme maybe like a teaspoon and a half some pepper salt minced garlic And then I just need to add some grated cheese in it, quite a bit actually, and then some melted butter. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Here comes the melted butter. And now to mix it all together. And then sometimes you just need to get in there with your hands to make sure that they're all like evenly coated and then what we do stacking it up and then placing it in here easy peasy and super freaking delicious this smells divine i did butter this pan a little bit before i started placing these in here but you know this has a lot of butter in it in itself so i'm sure it'll be just fine and then we're just gonna put foil on top and then we're gonna cook for like 30 minutes. We'll start with 30 minutes and then see how it's going. These are like slightly thicker cuts, so it might have to cook a little bit longer, but I'll just like watch it. And then once I feel like it's in a good spot, that's when I will take the aluminum foil off and then put it back in to at least let the top like brown a little bit. So that is what we will do. All right, so now I'm gonna move on to at least cutting slices of cheese to put on our cheeseburgers. Well, we're gonna have hamburgers. I, did. I don't know if I mentioned that. And then I'm also going to mash up the avocado and cut up some of like the red onion, like dice it to make like kind of a guacamole mixture, but not, you know? And then of course, pieces for snacking. Mm -mm -mm. Actually, I think I'm gonna make the avocado guacamole like thing closer to when we're ready because I don't want it to like brown. I might do that in a little bit. I do think I'm gonna try to focus on cleaning because this place is a mess. Like these counters are cluttered. Yeah, I think that's what we need to do. Clean, clean, clean. One more.
What do you want to put this on? Um, do you want to just put it on a plate? Not a plate or a special plate? I'll let you choose. Uh. Are you still crying from putting the onion? You need to relax. Crying and more. Perfect. Do we need more? No, let's start with that. I think we need ketchup. What do you want to drink? Yeah. And finally, lunch is served. So we have our buns, burgers, we have our little mix to add on top of our burgers, ketchup and mustard, of course. And then these are like the stacked potatoes. I kind of started to forget about them a little bit. So they're a little bit more crispy than usual, but trust they are going to be just as delicious. So yeah, that's it. And I am restraining from Coke still. Going strong. I've been tempted several times, but I've been holding out. We're good. <laughs> So I just got this oh cider I think is what it's called mop and bucket combo I've been really wanting to like mop the floors it desperately needs to be done so we're gonna try this out today I'm excited because this has like a, a ring thing right here while wow, it's heavy they push down on this I guess oh wow exciting <laughs> the little things i'm excited about it's ridiculous i know I am exhausted. I just went ham and like cleaned absolutely everything. <sighs> Obviously mopped down here, what you saw and vacuumed down here, but I vacuumed like the stairs. I vacuumed all upstairs. I mopped like everything upstairs. I cleaned all like the baseboards and oh my gosh, I don't even know what else I did so much. There's so much I still want to do today. It's almost 6 p.m. Oh, and let's get the elephant out of the room or I'm calling her Susie. Don't know where she came from, but she hurts like a bitch. And um, yeah, we'll just ignore her for today. But anyways, there's still so much more that I wanna get done today. I have a lot of boxes downstairs that I need to break up and put in the recycling bin. <sighs> I wanted to get a head start on it today because I needed to do it tomorrow because garbage is Tuesday anyway. But now I'm just so exhausted that I am laying right here with Oliver. I'm watching some YouTube. Juan's upstairs because he was avoiding the cleaning. <laughs> And so he like got out of the way to like watch his whatever that he was watching. But man, it was such like a 
kind of like self-care and like cleaning day it felt so good to go to the gym this morning i showed like a few clips of me at the gym but i've been wanting to really get into rowing because i feel like it's like the best cardio in my mind because i don't like to run on a treadmill i do not like cycling the elliptical is fine but i don't know i feel like rowing is something that i've always liked when i i did crossfit back in the day and rowing was like a part of it and i always really enjoyed it and it's kind of like a full body workout because you're working your legs you're working your arms and your abs at the same time so yeah i'm just going to continue to go so that i can row and if i like it enough maybe i'll buy a machine and then put it downstairs so that i don't have to go to the gym in order to row but yeah, I don't know. I'm just like finding a new interest, something that will excite me to go to the gym more, you know, because girl, I need to get in shape. I know you guys think I'm in shape, but I, I think since moving in with Juan and like us having like our family dinners and meals and stuff together, I feel like I've definitely have gained a lot of weight and I haven't really cared about like my diet and my eating as much as I used to when I was like just living on my own. So I feel like it's something I need to like refocus in on a little bit more, you know? So baby steps. I'm not gonna rush into it because you'll end up burning out on it but baby steps is what we're doing so i'm finding a real passion and interest into rowing we're gonna start there and then slowly start to add in more things that's gonna help me because summer's coming up and i know i'm gonna be going on trips and vacations and i want my body to just be snatched more snatched than it's ever been in my entire life that's what i want <laughs> But anyways, I have no idea what else I'm going to get into tonight. I don't really think it's anything because like I said, I'm like so exhausted. So I'm just going to go ahead and end off the vlog here. Hopefully you guys really enjoyed spending the weekend with me. It was kind of fun. Also, I don't think I mentioned it yet in my last couple of videos, but I think in my last video, oh, that's probably it. The last video went up and then I hit 20K. Ah, you guys, I cannot believe I hit 20K. Thank you guys so, 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 so much from the bottom of my heart. I... Mm, that's it was a goal that I was striving to hit for so long that I never thought that I would actually get to it because my subscriber count was like slowing down but like I am so happy that I hit that milestone <sighs> I feel so good to accomplish your goals but thank you guys so much for the love and support I love you guys so much it is so fun for me here on YouTube to make my videos to connect with you guys like it's one of my favorite things that i've introduced into my life in the last couple of years such a fun outlet too so anyways thank you guys so much i'm gonna stop just rambling hope you guys are having a great day a great week and i'll see you in a couple of days of my next video bye guys love you so much <laughs>